India's neighbour Sri Lanka has been facing one of its worst economic crises since the country's financial meltdown in 1948. The crisis is so huge that inflation has skyrocketed in Sri Lanka and people can be seen lining up in long queues in the country to buy food items, medicines, petrol and bare essentials. Fuel pumps are drying out, food is running out and people's desperation is rising by the hour. The Sri Lankan crisis is so dire that school exams in the country have been cancelled over acute shortage of printing paper. Global rating agencies have cut Sri Lanka's sovereign credit ratings to junk territory and desperate Sri Lankans are fleeing their country today to sustain themselves. These visuals show how the nation has plunged into a state of utter chaos. <laughs> This is a tweet from a Sri Lankan journalist who is saying the supermarket I am at ran out of power and the cashiers are resorting to handwritten bills, couldn't buy weighted goods because the electronic system shut down. Routine power cuts plus generator issues. What is unimaginable is this. Troops are being deployed in front of fuel stations because of fuel shortage. Hundreds of soldiers are standing guard in petrol stations across Sri Lanka to control the crowd. Even the country's newspapers are struggling to come out with their editions. For instance, Sri Lanka's popular daily newspaper, The Island, which published news even during the Sri Lankan war, has today stopped its publication. A notice was issued by the newspaper apologizing to its readers, which read, We regret to inform our readers that we have been compelled to suspend the publication of the island print edition on Saturday until further notice in view of the prevailing newspaper shortage. We apologize for this measure, which is due to circumstances beyond our control. Sri Lanka's food inflation has soared to 25.7%. Prices of food items have skyrocketed. Petrol prices have jumped by 88% in comparison to last year. And because of these reasons, desperate Sri Lankans are now escaping the country. Many are landing in Tamil Nadu. Every day, Sri Lankans are being caught in Tamil Nadu for landing in the state without proper documentation. On a daily basis, Tamil Nadu is seeing a huge influx of Sri Lankan refugees. And if intelligence reports are to be believed, then around 2,000 to 4,000 refugees from Sri Lanka are likely to reach Tamil Nadu in the coming weeks. Here are some Sri Lankan nationals who landed in India. Hear them out. Inge Bharat kaana karne ena ka husbandi le. Pulle le vachi vala kradu kasto. Ena sondha bandhu kore ena pulle le konya neera vachi kolanga na beele kya odu poye ena pulle le padike vikiran sona kore. Amang e tu kora ngile. E apni sona ilangam mudal mari ille. Sariyan kasto engar urle iruk pulle keela de. Adi naala na ang uirayum uirayum. Abri kadal le uir pona po. The refugees have been saying that they had no other option but to turn to India. And out of utter helplessness, they crossed the sea and reached Tamil Nadu through illegal means. Most people who have reached the Indian shores have spent their entire life savings to manage a boat and flee their island nation. So what is causing the economic crisis in Sri Lanka? The country that faced decades-long civil war that ended after the LTTE was decimated has once again plunged into a crisis. This time, people are not fleeing war but they are fleeing from hunger, poverty, joblessness and inflation. They are fleeing from a government that has not been able to create jobs but has completely built its economy from borrowing money from foreign nations. Since the civil war ended, Sri Lanka has been grappling to keep its economy up and running. 
The country hugely relies on other countries for imports of essential items. This includes food items, medicine, petrol and many other commodities. Because of the downturn of the economy, the country has depleted its foreign exchange reserves and therefore the government doesn't have the money to pay for these imports, which has resulted in the shortage of essential commodities. Several visionary projects in Sri Lanka have suffered because of the country's inability to repay loans, like for instance this one, the Hambantota International Port, a deep water port in Sri Lanka which is the second largest port in the country after the port of Colombo. Sri Lanka had taken huge loans from China that it could not repay, following which China took control over this port. Sri Lanka has been borrowing money from China for years to keep its economy afloat. In 2018, it took a loan of $1 billion from China. Sri Lanka has also been heavily relying on loans from India, Japan, the Asian Development Bank and the World Bank. Sri Lanka's public debt is estimated to have risen from 94% in 2019 to 119% of its GDP in 2021. For most of Sri Lanka's problems, the government's loose economic policies are to be blamed. The nation suffered during the pandemic as the tourism industry, which is one of the main sources of revenue in Sri Lanka, suffered. Tourism used to account for 10% of the country's GDP. The International Monetary Fund has stated that Sri Lanka is facing a clear solvency problem. The IMF has said, based on staff analysis, the fiscal consolidation necessary to bring debt down to safe levels would require excessive adjustment over the coming years, pointing to a clear solvency problem. As far as India is concerned, India has extended a $1 billion credit facility to Sri Lanka to help the nation through its worst financial crisis. After extending the support, Indian External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jai Shankar had tweeted saying, Neighbourhood first. India stands with Sri Lanka. US dollars 1 billion credit lines signed for supply of essential commodities. Key element of the package of support extended by India. In 2022, so far, India has extended a financial assistance of $2.4 billion to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is bracing for the Sinhalese New Year, which falls in mid-April. But this may be one of the worst years for the island nation. Sri Lanka has been quickly borrowing, slowly repaying, and the mounting debt has caused the nation's economy to implode. Financial analysts and economists say economic recovery may take months and maybe even years. Until then, for people who will choose to stay back in Sri Lanka, they have no other option but to wait for the country to recover once again, this time not from war but from a financial catastrophe.